Hey guys, this is Chris Sarda at Chaos and Comics on Instagram and Twitter, and of course YouTube where you're watching this. Today I'm going to talk about New Mutants number three. This one takes a, uh, a big turn. This is not like the first two issues at all. Uh, it is now written just by Ed Brisson. Uh, Hickman's not getting any credit on it. And while the cover is still Rod Reese, um, which is uh, a wonderful cover there, we are getting um, uh, Flaviano on the art. And, and the art's good. I mean, just really good. Maybe more on the cartoony side. Um, cover or uh, cartoonist or cartooning in there. So I do like the art. Um, you know how what I always do. Do you skimp on the backgrounds? That's how, how I know if you're too busy or how much pay attention you're paying. And uh, the art was good. Now, this takes a just a complete turn because in the first two issues, we were off in space with, with a bunch of new mutants, Sunspot and et al. Uh, and, uh, and the Star Jammers even a little bit. And now we're, we're back down to uh, Krakoa, Earth level. Um, Glob is, finally gets a feature over here in in the Dawn of X. Writers seem to really like him. Um, Grant Morrison, pretty yeah, that's a Grant Morrison creation there. And, uh, and now they're doing something that feels a lot more similar to what uh, Catherine Kitty Pride, Catherine Pride is doing, where Catherine Pride's you know getting drugs and smuggling and traveling. They're they're doing something similar. They're finding um, Beak and I, the other person uh, slips my mind. I'm not as knowledgeable about the younger mutants uh, except for the '90s Generation X book. And and the book was fine. It's interesting. I mean, the enemies had a very similar. These enemies have a very similar um, power to uh, the old ladies in X-Men number three, which is uh, power dampening. It seems like everyone has, it seems like you could buy power dampening, like you can buy a flamethrower on Amazon in these books. But um, but other than that, the book is, is just another setup book. It's still pretty good. I still enjoyed it. But, uh, you know, are we, are we just stuffing mutants in right now? You, the, you only had two issues really to get us a feel for them being in space. I would have liked to continue to see what's going on there. The only other thing that's uh, uh, an important point in this book, uh, as far as the general Krakoan Dawn of X uh, storyline, is the Academos habitat, the sextant. And you can see here, what's interesting is, so this is obviously the Academy. It's a, just a little simple map. And then on the bottom there, we have... Uh, each of the houses, so Delta, Zeta, Beta, the Pod, Life, Death, Sigma, Alpha, uh, and Omega. But I think this is cool. So Delta is Generation X. Then there's the new X-Men. So some of these haven't been explained who's what and who's in them. The Frost Academy, the Five, the Communal, the Jean Grey School. The Omega House is redacted, so who knows what that is. And then the New Mutants, which this book is about. So there's a good chance that we'll get at least miniseries or or New Mutants will delve into the uh, Generation X world and, and, and Jean Grey's school and the White Witch's school, which is going to be pretty cool, I think. So what happens then? Are they going to be their own book? Are we going to get characters developing in this new paradigm for the X-Men? Or are we going to get more what we've just seen in the New, new Mutants? I've avoided the solicits for this because I know I'm going to buy them, so I don't run out and, and, and read them, because I, I know I'm going to get them, at least through issue six of all of them. So I don't run out and read them, except for what comes up to the news, like, oh, you know, Fallen Angel's going to end and things like that. So still very good, just a little bit of a, a, a right turn, especially when the other story was uh, was picking up. And Rod Rice, or Reese, was was so good, I just wanted to see his art again. And that's not taking anything from Flaviano, but I just enjoyed it, and it's uh, it's really affected my, my grading of the book in general, at least the first two issues. It like, you know, bumped it up uh, in enjoyment a little bit. So anyway, that is New Mutants number three. Let me know what you thought of the X titles in general. I know what's interesting about them is that people have a bunch of different opinions. I don't really see a consensus that, oh, X-Force is the best or X-Men is the best. Some people like Fallen Angel. So it's really interesting that different people have uh, different loves. And I may do a video on that separate. Just do Dawn of X number one, Dawn of X number two, and, and talk about them in that context. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name's Chris Sarda. You can find me at Chaos and Comics on Instagram and Twitter and right here on YouTube. See you later. Even on TikTok. I just don't use it that much.